All right, so this is going to be a quick uh, video demonstration on using Celtics, which is the free screenwriting software. You have links to the Celtics website inside of Blackboard, uh, and after downloading and installing the software, you'll go to your applications and open it up. And the very first thing you'll do is do a new project. The new project window may open up automatically the first time. For these Hollywood narrative uh, script styles that we're doing for this particular project, uh, Celtics refers to that as a film style, so you'll go ahead and use the film style. Select that, and the interface will open up with your cursor blinking at the point where your first slug line will go. So Celtics is designed to jump from our different uh, script elements like slug lines and narrative and character name and parentheticals and things like that without you having to do too much thought. Essentially your return key uh, or your enter key will jump you from different elements and the uh, the tab key is the other option that will jump you to different elements depending on where you are in the script. So let me just go ahead and uh, do a, uh, a quick scene here from Angels in America uh, interior apartment so I've hit enter and it jumps down from the slug line into a narration block, and this is the uh, the visual real time description now. I am uh, using the video to assist me in my speed typing there. Uh, when we get done with a narrative block, uh, we hit enter. We're still in the area. For a narrative block and basically Celtics is going to keep us in this narrative block anticipating that we're writing narration, we're writing action over and over and over again. When we get to a point though where we don't we no longer want to do that, we want to add a character name and have a character say something, this is where the tab key comes in. So uh, while the cursor's here in the narration block, I'm going to hit tab and it anticipates what the next element will be. It figures, okay, you don't want narration, so you must want character since that's the next logical thing to have happen. So we do a character name and again from here we're at the end of the name the cursor's blinking I'm gonna hit enter and it automatically jumps down to dialogue because again the the software anticipates okay we've just written a character name the next logical thing to have happen is that the character will speak. And now that we're in this pattern of character name and dialogue, it's going to keep us in character name and dialogue. When I'm done with dialogue, it's going to jump down to a new character name and dialogue. You can see that uh, it will actually anticipate the names of the characters as you type them. So I've, I've typed Harper once and it's already suggesting Harper to me in kind of a smart type function. If you want to do a parenthetical, again here we are, similar situation as before, it's blinking in the dialog block, but I don't want to do dialog, I want to do a, a parenthetical before dialog. So again, that's the tab key. The tab key will anticipate what the next element is in a series, and in the case of a parenthetical, it puts the parentheses around for me already. And when I enter out of that, it's back in dialog block. And in this way, you should be able to simply just type and through the use of the return and the tab keys, jump to the next element that you need. If you're, you know, if you're in an element and working with that element, just continue typing. If you need to bump yourself to the next element, it's going to uh, be either the return or the tab key. And uh, you can um, undo whatever action that you've just taken. There's a little icon right up here to undo the last action um, in case you make a mistake. And then there's also a drop down list. So if you're ever in an element that you don't want to be in, the first six that are listed here are the six that we discussed in the class. Uh, scene heading would be slug line. Action would be narration. Character is character name. Dialogue is dialogue. Parenthetical and Riley, same difference. And transitions.
and you can just use that drop down menu to jump directly to the type of element that you want to type. When you want to check your page count or get ready to print this out to something like a PDF so that you can send it as a PDF rather than a Celtics document, down here the second tab along this bottom row of tabs is called Typeset PDF. And if you click on that, you'll be given a page representation of your script so you can count the pages. Remember that this particular assignment needs to be between four and a half and five and a half pages. And the title page does not count towards that. Uh, that's the, uh, the page count is just for the story, just for the script. Uh, and this is also the area where you can save out as a PDF.